morning. We had a great night's sleep. Enjoyed that lovely view under the olive trees. All for us. Ken's doing brilliant. He slept well for the first time inside the van. So that crazy bed that we've been towing along, we don't have to take it anymore. Happy days. Not sure what I'm going to do with my day. I'm going to have a long walk along the beach there. And then I think we might go to Akyaka, stop there and have a stroll around. I hate doing dishes in the morning, but we were outside sitting so nicely under the stairs with a glass of wine. And we couldn't get ourselves to do it. So I have to do it now. Does that look fantastic? You can wild camp here, but you need something to level your van. But I bet it's really busy here in the summer. All camper vans, can't miss. Pebbles. But boy, we're in the area that had so much wildfire last year. You can see there, all burnt. That guy with his little camping was so lucky. The fire stopped about three trees away from his property. It's all barren. Wow, this looks insanely beautiful. Timo, come here. The road is troubling me. It's not busy now, but I don't want him to run under a car. <laughs> He's stupid enough. Looks like we have a better wild camping spot here. Check it out. Oh yes, that should be possible. Just look at that. get onto this field and if you look at those boulders they're put there on purpose to keep you out but that's sad you'll have to park your van here which is still okay and over there don't know if you can see it nothing but tree trunks that's all the trees they harvested from the burnt areas and it's sad because most trees can survive it come here Timo And they're just 
carry on with their lives. They just look black. But they harvest them because they want the money for it. And you have to do it real quick, because otherwise you don't get the bark off. That's what I've been told. Don't know if that's true. But it's sad. I think it would be better if they left it alone. But money talks in this world. Back on the beach. Glad I came this way. I love the road. It's a really bendy coastal road. And I'm super happy that everything with Ken worked out. We've learned so much this trip. How he can sleep well, how he can be comfortable, how we can work around each other in that little space. How to find places to sleep. Yeah. A few things we have to change, and we will. Timo's place in the front of the seat is not good. We have to change that, he's very uncomfortable, and that makes it tiring. Sleeping arrangements are sorted now. We don't need the big bed no more, because <laughs> towing that big bed around, that's not a good idea. But whatever it takes. Time to go back, pack up our things, have another coffee, on to Akiaka. When we were in Aphrodisias a few days ago and we slept there, and Ken was more than tired, did not sleep well, got way too cold. And when he gets cold, his heart starts doing funny things, he can't breathe, his whole chest is a problem. I thought, we're going back. That's it. He'll never go with the van again. And then we went to the coast, got warmer. He found out that he could sleep inside the van. And it all turned around. I'm so happy. We can go places now. How can it grow? It never rains. Oh wow, it does look just as gorgeous as they say. I don't like the vibe of it. It's just reeking of spending tons of money. You know what? Let's just go to Gorgeous. So yeah. We are back at our trusted Goges Lake. Akiaka? No, sorry. Not the kind of place I want to hang out and be ripped off. Busy terraces with prices that I, I'm just not willing to pay, even if I was rich. So yeah. We're going to have some lunch here. Timo can sniff around and look around a bit, because he had enough of driving. When I'm walking on a breeze, I got no enemies, I just do what I please. 